Good morning, everyone. This is Michael from BroJMR, and welcome back to another movie unboxing. Uh, today, we are going to be looking at the 1995 classic Showgirls, the VIP edition. This came out in 2004, I guess for the nine-year anniversary. Um, I purchased it in 2010 from, believe it or not, Walmart. And I've had it sealed this whole time, waiting for um, the right time to open it and unbox it for you. So I figure this is it. So here we go. Leave your inhibitions at the door and welcome to the show. All right, well, here we go. Here's the Showgirls VIP edition. Let's see if I can avoid the ring light as usual. Um, pretty nice. Uh, big, huge box on the back, kind of showing some of the stuff that's inside of it. So, kind of on the along the lines of, like, the Wizard of Oz box set. Um, some of the others I've done, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, uh, Cleopatra. Stuff like that. So let's see if we can get this plastic off for the first time since this thing came out. It's a little beat up. It's been moved a couple of times, but not so bad. And up, up, and up. So this is a slip cover. Is the limited edition box set. Um, I'm not sure if it says in the back how many there were. Sometimes they say how many, how many they were. But this one does not. got the um, cover art from the original DVD. Well, I think, actually, I think the cover art would have been like that on the original DVD. Miss Berkeley shedding her Saved by the Bell goodie image. really doesn't want to come loose. Okay. Three hours later. All right. Let's see, we got some sort of poster here. We'll look at that here in a second. Let's start out with the DVD itself. Shows the special features on it. And yes, this is the DVD version. This is not the Blu-ray version. Uh, inside, kind of disappointing. No booklet, but eh. Looks like we have some character cards. And may I comment that this is a really, really nice box here. Nice velvet lined box. All right, we got Naomi. Okay, that's that was that's pretty much the 
that's pretty much what, it, what would have gone in here. It says, are you ready for more? And it shows more. Um, movies um, there being the original MGM packaging okay, we got some character cards here all right so let's see MGM has published these drinking games purely for entertainment. MGM does not advocate the abuse of alcoholic beverages, and we hope that you, if you try these games with anything other than your favorite non-alcoholic beverage, do so in moderation and with caution is not intent of MGM to promote alcoholism, binge drinking, consumption of alcohol by minors, or any other form of alcohol abuse. Please remember, do not drink and drive. Do not drink if you're underage. Don't ignore the signs of alcoholism. Seek help and don't harm yourself from people or property basically mgm's waiver saying hey we're going to give you a drinking game but don't drink so let's look at some of these uh character cards i think these are the also the cards for the drinking game the back is. All right, pin the pasties on the show, girl. So I guess there's rules for different games. We got the bad tipper. Sip or strip. Showgirls Fun Facts and Champagne Room and the ABCs of TNA. So, what do you use to play these games? You can use the blindfold. There is some Showgirls shot glasses. Very nice, actual glass. A little dusty because they've been sitting for well, nearly 20 years in here. And we got some Showgirls cards. Pasties, which look like they are just uh, suction cups. And what do you do with these suction cup pasties? Well, I am pretty sure that you use them along with this poster back here to play pin the pasty on the stripper. Make sure there's nothing else hiding underneath. You never know, there could be something hiding underneath. There's not. All right. Let us take a look at this poster.
And as I was afraid, I cannot show this whole poster because there is nudity on it. So imagine under my hand is where you would pin the pasties on the showgirl. So here we have it, the Showgirls VIP Edition box set. You got your pasties here to pin the pasties on the Showgirl wearing your blindfold. You got your card deck for your various card games. You got your character cards and rules for all the different games. And you have your shot glasses for your favorite adult or non-adult beverage and of course we have the camp classic itself which i believe some of the games involve the movie so there you have it the showgirls vip limited edition box set um my final thoughts on it kind of a cool set um I'm no longer the target audience for this. Um, I imagine that back in 2004, what they were thinking when they made this was um, for like a college party or something. Um, something to do while playing the movie in the background. It's a cult, it's like, it's like, it's a camp classic at this point. Um, just having fun and being silly you know, doing some shooter games. Um, so that's what I think that it was meant for, was for that kind of situation. Um, it's a cool box set, don't get me wrong. It looks nice up on the shelf. It's got some fun things inside of it. Um, but that's about it. I don't really have anything else to say. I mean, I could review the movie, but... So many people have already reviewed the movie. Everybody knows the movie by this point. Um, but if you haven't by chance seen the movie and you're of age to see it, go ahead and give it a watch. It's it's a laugh. It is. It's, it's, it's an interesting film. Uh, once you get past all the nudity in it, um, it's not a bad flick but it's not a good flick if you know what i mean definitely a cult camp classic so with that thank you guys for watching welcome back um i will try not to be so infrequent with the video uploads so with that saying blessed be Thank you for stopping by and be sure to check out the links in the next shot.